Hey, how's it going guys? Pyro here and welcome back to a brand new Hardcore Iron Man series. So quick note before we get into things, I made this count back in July, so many months ago, and uh, I have a lot of backlog footage, but uh, what I mean by that is this isn't uh, interfering with my main Iron Man series, still playing that, and I've been playing it for the last uh, months since I've made this count. But with that being said, I'm going to be taking everything that I've learned in the past three years with my other account and uh, putting it towards this, seeing how efficient I can play, how fast I can get my levels up, and see if we can get uh, a, a maxed hardcore Iron Man and a maxed normal Iron Man, which would be great. And hopefully you guys can use it as some sort of a guide to uh, train your Iron Man accounts as well. But let's get straight into it. Alright, so even after having three years of experience on Iron Man, I still have, it's a bit of a daunting um, thing when you look at, you have nothing in your bank and no skills, and how do I make money, how do I start? Um, so I, I just started off talking to this, uh, Mary over here gave me a bunch of potions and tele tabs. I'm just going to go use these tele -ta tele tabs and uh, get the lodestones, get a bit of a start, buy some runes, and start on the waterfall quest. For some starting cash, I'm going to take those potions I just got and go to the general store and just sell most of them off. Uh, they actually sell for a pretty good chunk of change, to be honest. Going to end up with probably a couple thousand. Um, these sell for a lot too, so I'm going to keep one defense potion just for waterfall quest, I think. And uh, now let's go get some food. Alright, now that I've got a bit of cash, I chartered a ship from Port Serum to Catherby. Uh, I'm going to grab some pineapples for about 80 coins for 40, I think. Um, these you can turn into pineapple rings, I believe. Uh, they heal the same as shrimp, but you get five per um, pineapple. So you're going to get 200 uh, pineapple rings that heal for 200. Should be enough to heal me through Waterfall Quest. And for probably the 20th time in the time that I've been playing this game, let's finish up Waterfall Quest and get a very nice XP drop. I think this... Oh, I need more spaces. There we go, my pineapple worked very nicely. Let's use that. Boom, there we go, 30 attack, 30 strength. A ton of XP, that is, what, 28k XP. Ton of levels, 60 levels. And what did we get to combat level-wise? I don't even know where to check that now. Uh, 22, right, <laughs> I blanked for a second. Um, but let's go sell, I can sell these, probably keep these for later. And what quest, I'll decide what quest I wanna do next. Next up, did the uh, Stronghold of Player Safety, I believe this thing is called. And let's open this up and get a few lamps. Gonna go ahead and put that into Dungeoneering, I think. Just so that I can get uh, a bit more XP when I ended up doing that. There we go, level 9 Dungeoneering. That would, would have been painful to do from level 1, I think. Uh, so I think that's a good choice. Safety Gloves. And did I get anything else? I think that's about it. Oh, I got a bunch of cash too, so that's going to be nice. I think next up I'm going to go get the cash from the Stronghold Safety and Barbarian and then go from there. Okay, I made it through, got my 10k and didn't die, so that's the best bet. Um, don't think I'm going to bother going through the last level to get the boots. This is fine for now. So with that cash, I went over to the shop and bought a Mithril 2 hand sword for a nice starter melee weapon for uh, questing and whatnot. So Nemi 4 is something that every Iron Man should be doing every day, regardless of, of their level, so I'll be doing this pretty much for my uh, farming and prayer levels to start. First cash down, 4 nice, 10 levels up to level 11 now from 1 cash. Very nice, gonna do these daily. Okay, done a bit of fishing and my first daily up is gonna get me 2 more levels, up to level 20 even fishing. I'm going to be doing fly fishing for most. Don't think I'm going to do even do lobsters. So the Nexus is really great low level prayer XP. Um, it's a lot better in a group of course, but you can do it solo. Just fill your bag and then go over to any bowl. Just click it like you see I'm doing that uh, it kind of skips a tick or two and uh, fills it a lot faster. I'm probably just going to do this for the protection prayers. Just comes, I'm kind of paranoid and I want to get the prayers for questing and whatnot. Um, I normally wouldn't do this this way and just quest. Before I go ahead and finish off uh, prayer at the Nexus, I figured I'd do the weekly statues here for some free prayer and uh, construction XP. So that's 16 prayer there. I'll finish up with the rest and go back to the Nexus. Cool, there's 25. That was really quick. 
probably going to stop there and just do it with uh, Nemi and Quest from now on. Let's get started. So until I can reliably go around um, Runespan and get the Rune Sphere, uh, I'm going to do this daily. Just basically go to the Air Altar with the Wicked Hood, um, with Essence, and make runes. Already up to level 9. Um, this is probably my second day, so once I get up to, I don't know, like 20 or something, I'll just do uh, daily Rune Spheres. Another day, another cache, and another 11 levels. Um, got a, a bunch more points that time. Oh, and I also got a um, Divination Legs. You can get the outfit from doing caches now, which is great. And for Training Hunter, I'm going to be doing Big Chin, of course. Um, 11 levels from my first go at it, and you can do it twice daily, of course. Easy levels incoming. Let's see how many levels from this one. Another 8 for 30 divination. So this is great XP. I'm uh, level 12 woodcutting right now at a uh, normal evil tree. And look at this XP drops. 15s. Just rapid. It's great. Okay, so I'm just going to keep doing this um, until I can cut oaks fairly efficiently. And then I'll cut oaks over by the... Uh, over where the... Oh, his cabbage face punch isn't there anymore, I guess. So it'll have to be for West Bank or something. And I'll bank those uh, oaks for construction, do some oak lighters. There's another level. I started this at level 9, and I'm now at 13. All right, the tree's gone up to level 23 um, wood cutting from that one tree. Not bad. I found another uh, evil oak tree. Level 30 wood cutting already, so that's enough for willows. I think after this, I'm pretty well ready to do oaks. I don't know if I'll do it just yet. Um, since I can't do uh, oak ladders yet, but I am all ready for that. Okay, my first uh, shooting star, fallen star, whatever these are called, got me level 10 to 22. And that guy, I uh, missed saying thank you to that guy. But let's turn in the stardust to the Toby. And I guess I just talked to him. Thank you, 50k. That is awesome. So one more day of that, and I can buy myself the coin. Um, to get uh, to guarantee that I won't lose the account, so I'm probably not going to do anything too um, too risky until I can buy that. But that's awesome. 150 cosmic runes and 20. Yeah, that's this is great, really, for low, really low levels. I'm going to do this again tomorrow after reset, and uh, perfect. Okay, I finished up another uh, shooting star, so another 50k coming up. 107k total now so I can go ahead and buy my uh, coin so I won't lose my account so let's go do that right away and there we go we got the jar of divine light the account is safe so that's what my stats are looking like at this point in the series I uh, just wanted to keep this first episode short and sweet just to show you guys uh, kind of the pacing that I'm trying to get at but hopefully you enjoyed the episode if you did feel free to hit that like button to let me know and that you'd like to see more episodes of Hardcore Iron Man another episode of my comp series of my main Iron Man is well on the way and I do have something pretty special planned for next episode so hopefully you'll enjoy that as well but I will see you next week with another episode take care guys